Hi, I'm Nikki from Find Me Crafting. Stainless steel water bottles and tumblers are hugely popular right now, and for good reason. They keep drinks hot or cold for just hours. Some have this great powder coating on the outside, very pretty, very durable and long lasting. With a few easy steps, I can show you how to etch, but not really etch, designs into the side. This is my logo. It's permanent. It's not going to wash off. It's going to be very durable. You could choose any design or picture that you want. I chose to do one here. This is I Love You in American Sign Language, which one of my daughters is using. So this is her water bottle. You can make the most personalized, perfect gifts this way. Come on, I'll show you how. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Here's what you're going to need for supplies. A powder coated water bottle or tumbler. This product called Citrus Strip Stripping Gel, which is available on Amazon at Walmart and most home improvement stores. A foam brush, a Scotch-Brite non-scratch scour pad, these are the blue ones, gloves, an apron, a paper plate, a weeding tool, scraper, permanent vinyl, my favorite is Oracle 651, more vinyl or painter's tape. You need a way to tape off areas you don't want to etch on. Scissors, a Cricut or Silhouette, not shown here, regular cutting mat, rubbing alcohol, an embossing heat gun or blow dryer, transfer tape, and dish soap. If you want to test the technique ahead of time, you can cut a small shape out of vinyl and put it on the bottom of your water bottle or tumbler and test it out. But to be honest, each time I've made one of these, I just go for it. Now you're going to want to create your design. Since I'm using a Cricut Maker, I will be designing mine in Cricut Design Space. If you want to purchase an image from somewhere like Etsy, you can watch the video linked down below, which will show you how to upload it into Cricut Design Space. You can use names, titles, your logo, or whatever else you can dream up. I decided to use my own logo. Keep in mind that if you're using something other than letters, the designs with open area in the middle or those that have thicker lines will look better. If your design includes more than one piece or letter, select your entire design and then click Combine in the lower right hand corner and then the Unite option. If you don't and any of your shapes or letters are touching, they will cut as individual pieces instead of being connected. Next, size your design to fit your space. Do this by selecting the design and adjusting the size in the boxes at the top labeled Size. If you want to change one of the measurements, say the width and not the height, click the padlock above the size measurements and adjust away. Now that everything is sized and connected together, select Shapes from the menu on the left and then choose a rectangle. We're going to use this rectangle to create a stencil. Make sure your rectangle is still selected and then click Arrange from the top and send it to back so that you can see your design once you move it on top of the rectangle. Adjust the size of your rectangle so that it's bigger than the design you've created and will cover the entire side of your water bottle or tumbler or close to it. Unlock the measurements so you can get the perfect size. You want to make sure you leave a border around the design so that when you're applying your citrus strip, that area will be covered and you won't accidentally etch it. Now you can center your design in the middle of your rectangle by moving it into the rectangle selecting both the rectangle and the design and then clicking the align button from the top and then center. Now with both the design and the rectangle still selected, click combine from the lower right and then exclude. This will remove the design from the middle of the rectangle making it perfect as a stencil. Now it's time to cut out the design. I use permanent vinyl in a bright color that contrasts with my water bottle or tumbler for this step. I use permanent vinyl because removable vinyl allows bleed through in the next step. And I use a contrasting color just because it's easier to see as you're placing it on your water bottle or tumbler. 
click Make It, and then on the next page, click Continue. I choose the vinyl setting and adjust my pressure up to more. Once your design is cut out, use your weeding tool to remove the vinyl from around the rectangle. I recommend reverse weeding the rest of your design, which I'll explain in a moment. I did this next step after I applied the transfer tape, which made it a much bigger pain in the butt to remove the transfer tape later. Learn from my mistakes and do this next step before applying the transfer tape. Take the vinyl, which is still on its backing, off your cutting mat and use the scissors to cut half inch slits in all the edges to allow the vinyl to more easily curve around your water bottle or tumbler when you apply it. Don't get too close to the design itself, just do it at the edge. Now, unlike me, you should be applying your transfer tape to your vinyl. Place the transfer tape sticky side down on top of the vinyl and use a scraper to make sure it all adheres. Lift the transfer tape off the backing, making sure to get all of the vinyl pieces. We're going to do that reverse weeding thing I mentioned earlier. Use your weeding tool to remove the pieces of your design where you want the etching to go. This is going to be all the letters and the center of the design, making sure to leave the middles of any letters in place. Because it's all stuck to the transfer tape, it's much easier because tiny pieces will stay put. Use a paper towel or a coffee filter to rub your water bottle or tumbler with rubbing alcohol on the side where you'll be placing your design. This removes any oil from your fingers or dirt so the vinyl will stick very well. Line up the top edge of your vinyl rectangle with the top edge of your water bottle or tumbler and that way you'll know your design is straight as you place it on. Press down slowly from the middle of the top and down to the bottom staying in the center. Then press outward to the edges of your vinyl. Pick up and replace any areas that bubble up especially near the design itself so that the vinyl is completely flat. Peel off the transfer tape slowly making sure all your vinyl stays put on the water bottle or tumbler. And then rub the entire design and remove any bubbles. The next step is very important. Use an embossing heat gun or a blow dryer to carefully heat sections of your vinyl and then press down so it is very well adhered. Pay close attention to the edges of letters. You can actually watch small bubbles and lines flatten out and once it's fully attached, you'll be able to faintly see the texture of the water bottle or tumbler through the vinyl. Be careful though, because the metal of that water bottle or tumbler gets hot very fast. Use painter's tape or more vinyl on the rest of the water bottle or tumbler to protect it from what comes next. Nah, throw on an apron while you're at it to protect you and your clothes. Pour some citrus strip onto a paper plate. Using a foam brush, apply a medium to thick layer of the citrus strip to the cutout design. Any remaining citrus strip can be put back into the container to use next time. Now place it somewhere safe. I set it on a paper plate so that I know any goo that drips down isn't going to harm anything. Set a timer for an hour and wait. Once the hour has passed, use your weeding tool to check the powder coating under the citrus strip. If it's bubbling up and easily peels away, you're ready for the next step. If not, wait longer. I add on about 20 minute increments until it's ready and it peels away easily. A word of caution here. Each brand of tumbler is different and even the same tumbler in different colors can be different in how long this step takes. I did two of the same brand water bottle in different colors. One took an hour and a half and the other took seven hours. With disposable gloves on, run the design under running water and wash off the citrus strip. Peel off the vinyl and tape and now use the blue scotch Bright scrubber to remove the areas within your stencil. This sometimes requires a bit of elbow grease. Any areas that seem to be more stubborn, I gently scrape at with my weeding tool, being careful not to scratch the metal underneath. Use dish soap to remove the residue and any remaining gunk. And now your professional looking etched water bottle or tumbler is done. Wasn't that easy? And if you'd like, I have cup care instruction cards on my website that you can print on cardstock for free to include 
with your water bottle or tumbler. The link is in the description down below. Happy crafting!